Hi guys, this is Mehmush from Rust IELTS Academy. Today, I'm here with a very important lesson for you in your IELTS speaking and writing. Many of you may have taken a speaking mock tests with us or even the real speaking test, or maybe you've written your writing to be corrected and at the end thought to yourself, why do I overuse some connectives like, for example, the word but? Is it really that important not to repeat the same connectives over and over again? Guess what? The answer is yes. Both in writing and speaking, you should use a range of cohesive devices, linking words and paraphrase the form of the words to get that high band score. But what we want to learn today is to use some alternatives for the word but. Simply by avoiding saying but, you can expect an increase in your fluency and coherence score in the speaking test and also in coherence and cohesion in the writing tasks, task one and task two. However, before starting our today's lesson, please take your time and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel because this way you show us that you like our videos and you want us to make more of them for you to improve your score for the IELTS exam. Also, you may want to visit our website, which is www.rossiles.com to check our speaking, writing, listening, and reading courses, which are great to mark you up in a short time. Before we get to the point, I want to thank you all for your lovely and numerous comments that you leave on our YouTube channel every single hour. We are really grateful for the positive energy. Now, Let's say thank you to uh, Rajveer Kaur, Simran Kaur, Janayat Hassan from Bangladesh, uh, Armbrit Sar English, and Bakibek Numiyazov. Thanks to every single of you for being this nice and supportive and for all this positive energy. Remember that you can ask us any question in the comments and we will make a video to answer those questions. So. If you're ready now, we can get us started with our today's lesson. Let's go. Now let's begin with our today's class, which is on how to stop using but all the time and what we should use instead. As you might know, the connectives and linking words play a very important role in increasing your band score in both writing and speaking. Now, many of you use the word but to connect ideas that contrast. However, we have so many other words that you can use instead by which you can make a much better impression on the examiner. So, you should show the examiner that you are able to use a range of connectives without self-repetition. Now we want to take a look at the words that we can use instead of the word but. The first one is however. We use this word to introduce a statement that contrasts with or seems to contradict something that has been said previously. Let me use it in some examples so that you can understand them much better. First of all, I want to make a sentence with the word but, and then I want to make the same sentence with the word however. Let's see. So, in the first sentence I say, the pattern was certainly original, but, the new wallpaper did not match the furniture at all. Now in my second sentence, I say, the pattern was certainly original. However, the new wallpaper did not match the furniture at all. So as you can see in both these sentences, I'm showing a contrast. In the first part of the sentence, I say the pattern was certainly original, it's a good thing. But there is a contrast. The new wallpaper did not match the furniture at all. So yes and no, positive and negative. Here is the contrast. But instead of the word, but I'm using however in the same sentence. But there is also something very important that you should pay attention to in your writings about the same words, these connectives, which is about the punctuation in your sentences. So as you can see here, uh, in the first sentence, I have the word but, and as I'm starting a new sentence, I use capital B, but, capital B, U, T, and a comma. And in the next sentence, I have however, in the beginning of the second sentence, H is capital, then I have comma, like where should I use this comma? Where do I need semicolon? This is something that you should really take into consideration when you're writing your writings and using these connectives. 
and to learn these uh, punctuation marks much better, you can watch our video, which is on punctuation marks and commas, full stop, semicolon, all the different kinds of those. So make sure to watch that because it is actually related to this one. Now, let's look at another example. So here in the second example, in the first sentence, I'm saying, I was running home, but Ross was about to leave the house. Now, the same sentence with the word, however. I was running home, however, Ross was about to leave the house. So in the first sentence, as you can see, because I want to show the contrast, I'm using the word, but. But in the second one, I'm using the word however to show the same contrast. But this is a much better word, a fancier word that can help you increase your score. However, you don't need to overuse one connective all the time. You shouldn't use but several times. You shouldn't use however, even the other alternatives over and over again. Try to just use a range of these connectives in your sentences, speaking or writing. Now. Let's move on to the second word that can replace but. I mean, whereas. It's a fancier word that can increase your score for sure. We can use whereas to show contrast or comparison. So here is an example. So in the first example, I say, all of my brothers are physicians, but I'm an accountant. So in my first sentence, I'm using the word but, that simple connective. Now I want to use whereas in the same sentence. All of my brothers are physicians. Whereas, I'm an accountant. So, as you can see here, whereas is connecting two opposite ideas perfectly. All of my brothers are physicians, whereas, I'm an accountant. Now, let's look at another example to make sure we can use it properly. For example, People say chips in Britain, but in America, they call them fries. So in the first sentence, I'm using the word but to show this contrast. Now, I want to use the word whereas in the exact same sentence. Here it goes. People say chips in Britain, whereas in America, they can call them fries. Hmm, this is so funny how Many words are different in American and British English besides the accent, which is a whole other story. Anyways, you can see here again that uh, the word but was replaced with veras to show the contrast here between the American and British people making a comparison between these two groups of people. And now with this, the examiner would give us more credits. It's nice, right? So try to use this word in your daily sentences to make sure that you can use them naturally on your test day. Okay, now, the other word to replace but is nevertheless. I like this one better because it seems a bit more complicated and maybe fancier than the other ones. Again, this has the same meaning as but and it shows the contrast. Here is an example. So in my example, I'm saying that he was feeling very ill, but he went to work. Now I want to make the same sentence with the word nevertheless. I can say, he was feeling very ill, nevertheless he went to work. Or another example, it's raining outside, but I'm going to do some gardening. Now the same sentence with nevertheless. It's raining outside, nevertheless, I'm going to do some gardening. So, as you can see here in the first sentences, I used but to show the contrast and in the second one, in the same place, I used the word nevertheless to show the same contrast, but this is a new word, a good alternative for the word but. So, this is how you can use these alternatives and make sure to learn what punctuation mark you should use if you're writing them and using them in some sentences, maybe in task one and task two of your writing and use these connectives and linking words all the time just to make sure that you are able to use them naturally on exam day to just get that good score you want. 
Okay guys, now it's your turn to use the mentioned words that can be used instead of but in some sentences and write them down in the comments so that we can check them for you and make sure that you're using them properly. Please remember that you have to use them in your daily speech and writings to make sure you can use them naturally. And do not doubt that if you try to use these words instead of but, you can expect an increase in coherence criteria in both IELTS writing and speaking skills. Thank you very much for watching us and for your positive energy. Please take your time to visit our website, joining our courses to become our next successful candidate in the IELTS exam. I wish you best of luck and see you next time.